Hey class, so today we're working on the wheel, going over some how-to tricks and tips to make sure that your wheel work is as best as it possibly can be. Now, when working on the wheel, the first thing I like to do is I like to press the, the clay down into the center, rotating the wheel head with my hands. That makes sure that I get the clay right in the center from the get-go. Next thing, make sure your hand is sopping wet as you use just a couple fingers just to adhere the bottom of the clay to the wheel head. This just creates a better seal so that you don't have air that gets underneath it. Now with my right hand on the side, my left hand on top, I'm going to use the fingers on my right hand to slowly manipulate going back and forth to put the clay into the, into the center. My top hand is just used to make sure that the clay doesn't go up any higher as I'm pushing the clay in. So you saw here as I leaned in with my body, my left hand on top pushing that clay down as my right hand is there to catch it and put it back into place using those fingers back and forth to create that movement to where the piece starts to rotate around the center and gets centered all by itself. And you can see as I'm manipulating my ring finger and middle finger, the, where that wobble was starts to come out using my palms to create a more fluid and rounded dome shape at the top of the, at, of the clay piece. Properly centered piece, there's no wobble in the clay. That's the big thing you're looking for is there that as you look at it from the side, there's no wobble. Everything's just rolling around nice and nice and perfect. Now once your wheel piece is centered, you gotta, you're gonna put some water on the top hand. This is to make sure that you have, that you can easily feel for the center of the piece. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dry mine off so you can see, make sure that your stays wet. Notice here I'm using that sponge just to pull out that water, the excess water, so you can see where my fingers are doing. As I'm feeling around for that center, I'm using my right hand to guide my left hand down. I'm not pressing with my left hand. The reason I do that is so that I have more stability, so that if there's no wobble, I can make sure that I can make my, um, that I can open the piece up easier without any extra wobble. Now, lots of clay, water on the inside and the outside, that sponge is nice and wet, and I'm gonna use the side of my finger, notice my knuckle right there, and I'm pushing the clay back in the center, not pushing it with my left hand yet, pushing just with my right hand, and I'm guiding that clay up to create more of a, to start creating those walls as I start to do a pull. Now once you get that wheel going and you start to start to do your pulls, notice how I'm using a very slow methodical movement so you can see the clay rising. You should easily be able to count the lines as you go up and they should be all even and consistent. If they're not, you're gonna create an, an off pull. Uh, notice how at the top of mine here, I'm gonna take my needle tool, clean it off nice and uh, clean. And you can see how I've got a little bit of a pulse in my in that top there i'm just going to trim it off to make sure that that top part's nice and even all over again what i just did right there is called cradling where i'm taking water my hands are nice and wet keep make sure your hands stay wet while you're on the wheel and i'm pushing the clay back into the center just cradling it back together to keep that nice and even flow and i've noticed in the video that i didn't notice when i was throwing this is there's a couple holes air holes in the side. You'll do the same thing for those. You'll take the needle tool and just pierce those air holes to push the air out and then just smooth your finger over it to take out the rest of the air. Now using, again, piece, my hands are working right one next to another. As I'm pulling up, I'm guiding my hands at the same time uh, to keep an even consistency pull, consistent pull with my hands. Again, with the wheel, when you're creating that wall shape, you want to make sure that your lines are nice and even. You can you can see how even my lines are. They're, they're not being pulled up too fast, and, and it creates a nice and even flow texture to my overall piece. I really should be using a rib right here because I have a nice little bit of a wobble on one side. Uh, it's just from the air that air bubbles uh, starting to slip up and and get in towards the inside. I should have popped it from when it was on the outside. A tip: just using that needle tool just to cut off that top piece, smooth out that clay. Big thing is with the clay, you're using slow and methodical movements. It's much more of a dance. Everything's nice and slow, nice and methodical and, and simplistic. As always, make sure that you like and subscribe to the videos and share them on anywhere, anywhere where you guys share media. And I look forward to seeing you guys as always next class. Later, guys.